Attention, this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like the sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh-oh. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. You are the only witnesses of the mining facility's destruction. Thus, it is necessary for us to keep you under surveillance until we have a better idea of what happened. Look around you. Even if you manage to overcome all of us, Bay Control could simply open the MagCon field and shoot you into space. So, let's not do this the hard way. Given your position, it would be a good idea if you took a more accommodating tone. My men will relieve you of your arms and armor. Follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in Residential Module 082. As I said, this is only temporary while other arrangements are made. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to bear with us until then. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit I'm a little disappointed. Doubtful, though at least it appears you have some spirit. The Exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The Exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive. But I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave her alone. You want to fight? Then try me, if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. The security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, oh. Who is that? Is that Batu Rem? Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. 
You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? I can't... Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. representing the Ithorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. Very well. I'll inform Moza and send him on his way. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. <laughs> Accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Yes, they play at being downtrodden innocents, having come to you because of these Jedi rumors that are going around the station. Oh, I'm sure you've heard that you're a Jedi. One of the last, wanted by the Exchange, and who knows how many other organizations, for reasons good or ill. But that's of no interest to me. The Jedi, and your standing with them, have no bearing on this discussion. I believe you're a person of influence, someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism? It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices.
Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation. I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do her a disservice by not speaking of this while she is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Evan Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? <laughs> Makes sense. I'll follow your lead.
Perhaps Chodahabad should turn his eyes to his own people if they truly suffer so. She enjoyed when does Hey, what are you doing in my apartment? You think I'm just gonna let you get away with this? Yes, I will. I'm not going to let you push me around in my own place. Now get out of here before I get the TSF to throw you in jail. Why not? You didn't seem to have a problem taking everything else. What? You are crazy! Our psychotic urge is all that drives you. I don't know what even came over me. One second we were just standing there talking and then... I am not speaking to you, fool. Be silent. When one of us is committed to battle, then all of us are committed. We must stand together. I would examine the situation as a whole, all of its ties to the Force, and then decide which string to pull, not sever them all at once. Such crude methods grant you nothing. Perhaps, but not from those who matter. Oh, I grow weary of this. Perhaps time will allow my words to take root, if your common sense will not permit it.
To vrekun mili wosa slimapu. Kavadumpa mun suru kupla tonghi temos. Kawana bota yunta tanga kina. Ejikonu ta yun yuna palawa lit basha makaranwa. Pariki. Mangra, do cha screeni do pat da hupa bo sakura kavadumpa mun suru kupla li kavadumpa mun ta kometa kapla ia justing ento mes mi paju watamin cha yo kolondo ado nu Terewana jung konata delo era guno antuna. Dai rinto rung kawere kare papana la ranchinga. Terace we menoto to orere seni senten. That didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. It looked like you wanted to make a fool of him. Charadana gundoso remina ke lorak de guru katada. Fiara to ora pada no ringa tel kamarada tel fibu numbu de karana cheni rara. Not even an apology. That won't do at all. This Sullaston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. Tana besaran kati. Go na ring pang semi sanchara. Go la marakta dun. Dosich min falar ser sen ke la folorondo. De rantasha beni hulen ben selerente. Dosa ne grabala dentro que wa patar tana chingradana. Tere wana jun konata de la guno tuna. Da rinto ron kawere kare papana la ranch. This doesn't have anything to do with you stranger. Just move right along. Have a drink in the cantina. So you must be the Jedi. Perhaps you don't know who I am? You haven't been on Citadel Station long, have you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Benok, the man in charge of Lopak Slusk's protection. You do know who Lopak Slusk is, don't you? The two gentlemen with me are Matu and Nahata, Slusk's finest men. Other than me, of course. Oh, leave the woman alone, Benok. I bet she'd come out on top if you fought. Now, Luxa, uh, I meant no disrespect. You're probably Slusk's strongest woman. It's your skin, Benok. Just warning you, Slusk could easily replace you. We were just leaving anyway. Come on. Wise man. Hello there. Hmm. Fresh blood at the cantina. 
Enjoy. Your drinks are on me. We should talk. Later. If you're asking me that, beautiful, you're better off not knowing. Tell you what. You just enjoy yourself, and if in the future we have business together, you can come back and we'll have a little chat. Is there something I can do for you? What's there to say? If this whole Telos thing pans out, we could be in a great position. If Lorso doesn't screw it up, that is. Yeah, it's a long shot, considering the state of the Republic these days. Still, if it works out, the Republic may decide to start restoring other war-torn worlds. At least, that's what Zerka hopes. If we can integrate ourselves into the process, Zerka stands to make a tidy profit in the future. Quite a few ways. As part of the Republic contract rewarded for a planet like Telos, Zerka is allowed to use the planet's natural resources to help fund and support the project. On top of that, the Senate's easy to negotiate with. They're liberal with the amounts of credits they throw around, even with the Republic being in the shape it's in. And, of course, new planets mean new markets for Zerka products. All in all, a very good arrangement for us. Yeah, Jana Lorso. That woman's a... a f look, forget it. She's my superior, and that's that. She'll screw up soon enough, and then I'll move in for the kill. She's got her hands in too many dirty little... <sighs> um, whoa, I, I think I've had a few too many drinks. Uh, I shouldn't be talking to you about this stuff. Just forget it. Gavadumpa Munsuru Kupla Liyaw. Chone Mulera. Tonkinge Ban. Kawana Bota. Kawana bota yunta ta. Kavadumpa munsuru kupla liya wa. Bo bagara da hupa bo sakura. Kawana bota. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Taya. Munga chinor ta imbrei wanachiki. Drumba bambwa. Conti. Da hupa, bossa curata. Cavadumpa munsuru cupla lia. Da hupa, bossa curata. Mmm, ciò so me garanga battuta a me. Cionta bossi di chita, ma si so rincada. Tonino va pinco. Cavadumpa munsuru kupla liya wa. Bo bagaragawanda yai tua u... Da hupa, bo sakurata, go jujut. Kawana bota yunta. Kawana bota yunta ta. Jarun mamba kondu soto. Dona chai ram... Dono we sa cha makaran. Mika sorcha kawan boto kamana. Hapka ran rundi ruota nona wi. Então mesmo em Paju, 
Watamincha yoko Suna ranga macho chane Dota lutu Padu kre Dinor kre lun Kont fe Kavadun pe masura ku Popayi botenya Tache mi Rasha tuk nolia yakta adese uba liya jetu furg Kavadumpa, mo wendi do cho keremi. Kavadumpa masura ku, papa yi, bane soko kran, cho kran. Manya gur king kun nao, no pa muli ra. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF station. How may I be of assistance? I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen, and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me. That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, Numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebon Hawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in residential module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. There was a query regarding the Ebon Hawk's ID signature sent from the Paradis mining facility. However, all data collected in response to the query has been deleted. It is likely that this information was removed when the vessel's transfer request was modified. Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You will find them in the security lockers. I am not qualified to answer that question. However, it is unlikely that someone could steal a starship from under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your vessel has been stolen, there is a fair chance that the Exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest, beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. There is nothing I can do. I am sorry for what has happened, but the situation is beyond me. I cannot legally supply you with another vessel.
Something I can help you with? To be honest with you, I just don't know. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit, and for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. If only it were that easy. The Republic's tight on credits right now, still recovering from the war. They're sparing all they can, but it's not enough. We relied almost completely on Paragus for our fuel. It's hard to make up for a planet's worth of fuel exports. Absolutely. We need to find a new fuel service, sign contracts, make agreements. A soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing. Tell you what. You find fuel contracts for Citadel Station, and I'll be sure to pay you for it. Soldier's honor. I'll be waiting. Something I can help you with? Would you be interested in helping us by bringing in some bounties? This isn't a bounty, so to speak. But we're looking for a man named Batono who's been missing for some time. Also, two ruthless killers that we'd managed to capture and hold here in the TSF station escaped, and are currently at large. We're also looking for any information about the imposter Batu Rem. Batono was the overseer of dock operations for Zerka and was assisting us in uncovering the elusive black market smuggling operation that appears to be operating at a Citadel station. A few weeks ago, he suddenly disappeared and hasn't been heard from since. Well, uh, that's the problem. Our investigation wasn't exactly government-sanctioned. I may have been specifically instructed not to pursue the matter. But that's not important. The important thing is that Patono's gone missing, and I want to know what happened to him. Maybe there is, but that's not the point. The point is, I want to know what happened to him. Not much, other than what I've already told you, and the fact he was investigating Docking Bay 3. I spoke with some Zerka guards near the Docking Bay, but they didn't seem like they wanted to cooperate with a TSF officer. Maybe you'll have more luck. Thank you. What is it? There was some sort of electrical... There are two of them, a Rhodian and a Deveronian. They're well-armed and obviously extremely dangerous. They haven't left the station as far as we know. All right, just... What is it? You mean the assassin who tried to kill you, right? The real Batu Rem's one of us, and he's off the station on leave. I hope Batu's okay, though I'm expecting the worst. Shame. He was a good kid. Yes, we looked into it and found that he arrived via a tramp freighter in Docking Bay 3. Unfortunately, the cargo and passenger manifest as well as departure location was not disclosed to us. That's all the information I have for you. If you find anything about the real Batu Rem, We'd like to know if he's safe. What is it? Something I can help? Sibu and Dasarans, Krema Sunkun Ratungala, Chabi Mo Jubu and Kosaracha, and Wamagro, Machabi Dok.
Rama. How may I help you? Of course. She has been expecting you. You will find her through the door and down the hall on the right. Zerka Corporation has operations on many systems, providing everything from medical supplies to starship weapon systems. Here on Telos, Zerka Corporation is involved in the restoration project, which Zerka hopes will serve as a model for future operations of this nature. I will arrange transport to one of the restoration zones on the planet's surface. You will be safe from the TSF there. For the services you have offered to Zerka, you will also be reimbursed. I trust that is an agreeable arrangement. Of course. I will instruct the commander to await your arrival. I knew you'd come eventually. I am confident that we will be able to reach a working agreement satisfactory to both you and I. But where are my manners? On behalf of Zerka Corporation, I would like to be the first to welcome you to Telos. Our primary concern on Citadel Station is the restoration of Telos's surface. The Republic is eager to revitalize Telos as a benchmark for other such efforts in other systems. While a generous amount of credits has been budgeted to Telos, the bumbling of Chodo Hobat and his Athorians has squandered away much of these resources. For a project of this size, judicious planning and thrifty spending of resources is a necessity, something Hobat fails to understand. Nonetheless, Zerka remains optimistic. There are many jobs we need assistance with. For someone with your experience, you would be well compensated. Zerka has been managing the restoration project without the assistance of a droid for some time now. Habat has commandeered the new droid intelligence that was to be delivered to the station. I'd like for you to meet the shipment at Dock Module 126, Shuttle Bay 2, and bring the droid back here before the Athorians foul things up again. Don't worry, Zerka wouldn't expect you to work unpaid and won't subject you to veiled threats and coercion like Kabat. For your help in this matter, you will be paid the sum of 250 credits. You're right, 300 credits will be much more reasonable.
Excellent. I will secure credits for your payment immediately. Oh, and here. You might need this to get into the hangar. Welcome back. I can understand why you might be on their side, but believe me, you wouldn't be doing Telos any favors assisting those amateurs. Oh, sure. Habat's intentions are good enough, but good intentions won't restore Telos. His expensive policy of relocating biological specimens from Onderon without any planning will doom Telos in the end. I don't think Zerka plans to use some of the planet's own resources to help fund the restoration. These extra funds will greatly improve the project in the long run. Habat, on the other hand, can't see beyond his own selfish concerns. We've discovered that the surface of Telos is covered with military facilities that were either destroyed or abandoned during the Sith attack. Salvaged raw materials from these sites can either be reprocessed and put back into service, or resold to help fund the project. Larsa was his most popular executive for So much on some up hit on Hello there, and greetings from Isis and Onderon. I'm a diplomat from Queen Talia on Onderon. My stay was supposed to have been shorter, but the contract disputes over the restoration project have prolonged it. Yes, have you. <laughs> 
Uri Sidan Elva, Uri Truth Lava, Elva Badinova Elva. Uri Sidan Elva. Look at Camara 
Ranin doso ran we no chabi. Do ran. A Republic ship was supposed to have arrived to take control of the situation. Donos Emeragis, one a Donos drum sa in Chobin Sasha. Dosimana Rochetta. In one a may Rangana Noruta. Machabi Doko, Dona Ranga Manatunga. Machabi Doko, Dona Ranga Manatunga. The Rana Mosibu and Dasarans, Krema Sunkun Ratungala, Chawi Mojubu and Kosoracha, Loka Kama Ran and Doso Ran with no Chabi, Du Rantamana Sobu. Donos Emerekith, Wana Rakora Donos. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamato. Takometa ka blaya justing miki gongo be. Dahupa bosa kura kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatora. Tayaita ta bosa nanansa ta. Tonghite mosi jochia yumba. Tong laldu chung nao. Duka ne tung chona ta bias de via. Jicho patana iku. I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Excuse me, Master, but it seems we have some additional visitors.
punishment man. I don't understand. I was just told that I would be taken to the Athorian compound. I was to be given to an Athorian, Chodo Habat. I see. In that case, please lead the way. Excellent. I see my faith in your abilities was well founded. We'd like to get this droid into service as quickly as possible. Opo Chano? Greetings, Executive Lorso. How may I be of service? Just plug into the mainframe and get to work. Right away, Executive Lorso. You may go, Chano. I'm sure you have many repairs to see to. Now then, your payment. Here are the credits agreed upon. There is another task I would like you to perform for me. You proved that you can handle yourself quite well in dealing with the retrieval of the droid intelligence. The next matter of business I would ask of you is much more delicate. When we first set up here on Citadel Station, the exchange was already quite well established. Lopax Slusk had more influence over business matters than the Telosian government. To ensure our success, we involved ourselves with the exchange. And now that we have a handle on the situation, we wish to unentangle ourselves from them. If you know anything about the exchange, then you know that they would not take this well. Slusk is loath to have his hands removed from any business on the station. So, a more direct method will have to be taken. To put it plainly, I want you to kill Lopak Slusk. I realize it won't be an easy task, as Slusk keeps himself well protected. You would be well compensated for it. I have a feeling they won't just let you march into their offices. Luxa is Slusk's second. She spends little time in the exchange offices, though, preferring the cantina in the urban module. She might be able to set up an appointment. Good. I will be happy to continue our working relationship. Welcome back. Batono, of course. He was one of our former employees. Let me tell you something. There are far too many like him. Do-gooders who believe that because of the things Zerka must do to remain successful and profitable, we must be evil. They do not see the impracticality of their beliefs. They do not understand the realities of the galaxy. If certain funds must be paid, then Zerka will gladly pay. If competitors removed, then Zerka will do its part to forward progress. Batono could not see this. Before leaving our employ, he stole many of our records, then began to stalk our movements on the station. Harassment, but conveniently overlooked, sanctioned, perhaps, by the Telosian authorities. I'm curious, though, as to why you are looking for him. I see. Well, I suspect he's putting his nose into something or another. People like him can't mind their own business, always needing to pry into matters that don't concern them. I do know he spent some time in the company of the Athorians. I assumed that was the reason for his efforts, that he thought by inventing stories of Zerka's evil, he could put Chodo Habat and his incapable assistants in charge. 
But if you are searching for him, and find him, there would be a reward for any information of his whereabouts. Excellent. Zerka will be glad to be free of his baseless accusations and rumor-mongering. What the? Hmm. You're not CSD. What are you doing here? What? No, you must be mistaken. You're probably looking for a previous tenant or a neighbor. Hmm. 
no. Wait, you can't tell Zerka where I am. They'll kill me for sure. Easy to say that, but you're not the one Zerka will send its assassins after. Sure, but everything takes time. Testifying before the Council, the Council's deliberation, time that Zerka could use to rub me out. You might be right, but Zerka has eyes everywhere. I'm not even sure I can leave this apartment safely. What would you know? It's more attractive than the alternative. You're right, of course. It's not easy to sit around in this apartment, afraid of anything and everything, jumping at shadows. It sure would feel good to put a little fear into Zerka. See how Lorso likes a few sleepless nights of her own, all right? You've convinced me. Can you escort me safely to the TSF office? You obviously haven't been on station for long, if you believe that. But I guess it's a risk we'll have to take. Lead the way and let's get this over with. Lead the way, I'll watch your back. Hmm, what do we have here? Batono, if I'm not mistaken. You've been a hard man to track down. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It's you we've all been looking for. Executive Lawso sent me to take care of some unfinished business. That's fine. We weren't planning on taking him anywhere anyways. Keep moving. Let's leave this mess for the TSF guards to sort out. I have to hand it to you. I'm damned impressed. Not only did you find Batono, you convinced him to testify against Zerka to the Council. And believe me, that's no small feat, considering I think Batono is as stubborn as ever. You don't sound happy to see me, Gren. Of course, I'm sure you have other things to be doing. The bounty is yours for finding Batono, and a bonus for bringing him back as well. I don't have anything for you, but thanks for saving my life. I'll try and return the favor someday. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamato. Tonos emaragi. Wana. Tonos emaragi. Wana. Tonos emaragi. Wana ra.
Welcome back. I can understand why you might be on the... Oh, sure. I don't... Zerka... We... Hello there. Hmm. Fresh blood at the cantina. Enjoy. Your drinks are on me. Is that all? What a disappointment. Yes, what you were told is true. I can arrange meetings with Lopax Lusk. But you'd have to give me a good reason. Well, that's hardly reason enough. Tell you what, I heard about what you did down at the docks. I could use someone capable like yourself to do some work for me. Just consider it a little test. If you prove reliable, yes. Good. Rejection is just one of the many things I don't take too kindly. I need to make a transaction with two bounty hunters that have recently arrived on Citadel Station. Very simple. Weapons for credits. I want you to go in my place as my representative. They're being very careful, and I'd rather not be bothered. Here. This case holds the weapons they'd like to purchase. I was not told the place of the meeting. Only to go to the medical unit in Residential 082 and await a communication. They'd be very foolish if that was their plan. I'd hope they knew better than to try and cross the exchange. In exchange for the weapons case? 500. You'll receive your cut from that amount. And I'll be waiting. Do you really think it's a good idea to be working for the Exchange? Is it really worth it, though? I don't know if we can trust Lorso, either. I mean, it takes something to ally yourself with the Exchange. As long as you're ready for it. But I hope it doesn't come to that.
Still in one piece? I heard something about a violent disturbance in the residential module. Nothing to do with you, I hope. Odd. Well, at least the transaction was successful. It was successful, wasn't it? I see. Well, I suppose you earned it. Very well. Keep them. I've got some more work for you, if you're up for it. A matter of a rather sizable debt owed to the exchange. And you will. I just need you to perform this one last service for me. Getting right to the point. I like that. Opo Chano, one of Circa's droid technicians, owes a sizable gambling debt from his last stay on Nar Shadda. We've been patient with him. But we can only let a debt go unpaid for so long. Oh, I know how that works. Gambler's down on his luck, almost out of credits and doesn't know what to do, then BAM, there's a credit line all ready to go. His luck's gotta change, right? So he makes a few more rounds of Pazak and he's desperate now, desperate to win. Little knowing that the decks stacked against him in those 20s are never coming. Next thing he knows, his luck still hasn't changed. 
In fact, the only thing that has changed is now he owes his life's worth to some exchange boss, and he's getting intimate with a stimmed-up goon with a fist the size of his face. Hey, that's the business. I can't be responsible for your lack of control. Lack of control? Why... Ah, oh, never mind. You'll find Chano in Unit B2, Residential 082. Tell him his time is up, and we want those credits. Then rough him up, put some fear into him. Make sure he understands the situation. Look, if I wanted you dead, I think I'd send some armed killers. And Chano's harmless. He's just a technician. I wouldn't worry yourself. Good. I knew I could count on you. Donos Emeragith. Donos Emeragith. Donos Emeragith. Wanna rock or drum ta sai. The random loss you win that's a run. The random loss you win that's a run. just happened. One minute we're just talking and then I just lost control. I don't have a problem with it. You should just choose your targets a little more carefully and not be so conspicuous about how it's done. You've returned. Did Chano cough up those credits? You killed him? And how do you expect us to be able to collect credits from a corpse? And I'm sure he learned it very well in the moments before his life ended. Before you say anything, yes, I will arrange the meeting with Slusk that you desired. But first... I was wondering if you might listen to a proposition. A business proposition. Given your obvious abilities. Let me ask you an honest question. This meeting with Slusk you want. It's because Lorso's fed up with him, right? I feel the same way about Slusk. And I think it's time someone solved the problem. I think that maybe our interests lie in the same direction. What, besides his being your typically slimy Quarren? Slusk works for Goto, out of Narshada. Now this Goto, 
He's rigid, ruthlessly efficient, and all he sees are numbers. Goto keeps the squid around because he maintains a steady flow of income. Yet it's only half of what I know it could be. I should be the Citadel's boss. But Goto doesn't allow breaks in the chain of command. I can't go over Lopak Slusk's head, so I've got to take care of him myself. And I want your help. I can get you into the exchange suites in Residential 082. They're west of the entrance. More than a few of the guards are in my pocket, so there shouldn't be too much resistance inside. When Slusk's out of the way, I'll clear up this bounty matter and get your ship back. Deal? We'll speak again, then. Best of luck, beautiful.